Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Gobind Rai Gar, and uh, I'm very happy that uh, along with me is uh, Dr. Vidhi Dubey and uh, she has got an excellent rank of uh, 275 in the NEET PG exam. So first of all, welcome Dr. Vidhi. Thank you, sir. For heartiest congratulations for the excellent rank. Thank you so much, sir. So, first Vidhi, please introduce yourself to our students and uh, then we will talk about your preparation. Yes, sir. Uh, hello, I am Dr. Vidhi Dubey. I did my undergraduate from GMC Surat and I got an All India rank of 275 in this NEET exam. Yeah. Thank you very much. And that's an excellent result. And congratulations again. Thank you so much. So, Dr. Vidhi, uh, when you specifically start preparing for the PG entrance exam uh, during internship or uh, during your MBBS time only? Uh, sir, uh, I started my core preparation from my internship year, but before that, I built up all my concepts so that the preparation phase becomes easier and more high yielding. Great. So I started my uh, preparation from end of second year uh, to build my basic concepts. And then I started the core preparation from internship year. Great, great. So, guys, that is the uh, exact thing that means that is the right way to move forward. So, during your professional years, uh, do not consider that you just need to pass the exams. Okay? Try to make your fundamental concepts clear. And if you have uh, the basic concepts of all this bit clear by your MBBS, then uh, you already are ready for the PG entrance exam. So, only you need to brush up at the last time, that means during internship. Okay? Yeah. Am I right? Yes, sir. absolutely right. Right. So, uh, Dr. Vidhi, please uh, let the students know, first of all, uh, from where you came to know about cerebellum and uh, how you utilize the different type of resources present on the cerebellum. Yes, sir. Um, I, I had heard of Cerebellum Academy when it was launched, but I did not use it then. Then uh, I was invited for the Cerebellum event where all the students from all the colleges were invited and they were given prizes and we were allowed to uh, give some quizzes and it was a really great event. Uh, there I met you, met ma'am, Zainab ma'am and all the teachers and uh, I really like the concept of Cerebellum Academy and from then on I utilized it to my fullest potential, everything that I could. So uh, I attended the uh, some of the mission classes, the marathon classes, the live classes. Uh, I used to give all the exams, subject wise exams or the GTs and I used to attend the discussions also. Uh, I also utilized the late night PYQ sessions too. Okay. So, grossly, you utilize most of the things given in the cerebellum. Yes. Uh, yes. So, now my question is, uh, when a student is preparing for a particular entrance exam, like suppose the student who is going to appear in 2025 NEET exam. Right? Yes, sir. So, according to you, how the student should uh, concentrate or we can say uh, condense the thing so that he can revise? Because we all know that uh, without revisions, everything goes off. Yes. So unless we revise the things two, three times, we are not able to remember. So, but according to you, how a student should uh, condense his notes or his information so that he can revise them? Yes. So uh, I would suggest that uh, everyone should have read some source or they, they must be having one main source or the notes. So when you utilize some other resources, you should always add on to the main resource, only the information which we feel that we will we will be forgetting or it is important. So there should be only one main notes for each subject so that we don't wander off to some other things. That is very important. Then uh, what I did was, uh, like Zainab ma'am said, I made my choti copy hmm. and I I, note down, I noted down every single volatile things that I could not remember from the GTs, from the tests. And then I revised it again and again. Mm -hmm. I also used BTR for my revision uh, resource. And uh, I did all the ENDs, the compiled modules, the bonus BTR, and I all compiled it to one main note. Whichever other source I had, I compiled it to one. And then I used to revise it again and again in every cycle in addition to giving all the exams and tests. 
Great, great. So guys, uh, please note this down that uh, whenever you study from anywhere, so the most important thing keep in mind is that you have to revise that. So you uh, yes. take the information to one place from wherever, whatever you are doing, concentrate toward one point so that at the end you have only one resource to revise. So, so that you do not vendor that in the last month you are lost that I have so many things to do. So yes. whenever you study, just keep in mind that how you will study it again. So then it will become easier for you. Yes. Uh, Dr. Vidhi, I want to know about the uh, ENDs and the grantors. So number one, obviously END, if they are subject wise, so we study a subject, complete a subject, then we yes. give the test. So with that, number one, we will come to know that uh, how uh, we can say how much command we have on over the subject. We have what are the strong and weak areas and yes. uh, we can discuss that with teachers. But uh, second thing is about GTs. The, Big problem most of the students are facing. Number one, if they get less score in the GT, they get worried and they stop giving the GTs. And number yeah. two, if uh, after giving the GTs, many students do not know how to revise or review them. And uh, they end up spending either too much time on them or they do not review it at all. So yeah. I will want that you guide the students regarding these issues. Yes. Uh, so uh, in regards to GTs, I gave one GT baseline GT during the first day of my internship when I started my core preparation. Then the score which I got, I knew that, okay, this is my basic score. And I saw all the subject wise analysis that which subjects are weaker or which are strong. Then in the starting GTs, you have to review all the 200 questions. You can't skip any question. You have to read all the uh, explanations. And then we we get to know that which subject is weaker and which is which is strong. Then after some time, when we give another GT in the in the between time, we we obviously would have read any subject, two or three subjects. So after giving the second GT, we only have to see that the subject which I prepared, did I improve in that? Did my score improve in that subject? We we should not worry about the total number of corrects at the beginning. So we should only focus that what I read, what I revised, am I improving in that? So that made a lot of difference in the confidence. You should not see the scores. You should see the progression of the subject concept or the number of corrects you get in a single subject. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Vedi. So I also keep on saying the students that uh, when you attempt a GT, suppose you are getting less marks, you are getting a lot of wrong questions. So if you review the questions, you will find that you are making the mistake at this point. So yes. that will be embedded in your brain. So because we so, so, so when we actually uh, appear in the actual exam, then we always have in our mind that I have made mistake at this point. So if similar type of thing come in the actual exam, you will not be making that mistake. So yes. that's what I suggest the student that jitna GTs mein galat hoga, utna achha hai, exam mein utna galat kam hoga. So there sure. is no point worrying that we are getting less marks in the GTs and we stop giving GTs. Because if we stop giving GTs, our improvement will also stop. True. We should be happy that we are getting wrongs in the GTs so that it uh, that won't repeat in the actual exam. Yes, actually, that is the exact thing I want to communicate. Galat hota hai to, don't worry, because in the exam, you will be making lesser mistakes. Yes, sure. Uh, so, Dr. Vidhi, uh, what was your actual shift in the exam, morning or evening? Evening shift. Evening shift. So, I have uh, been talking to some students, uh, and there is a general thing going on in uh, media, uh, social media, that uh, there were no rankers from the evening shift all the ranks have been given to the morning shift. Is it true? <laughs> no, sir. No, uh, I know a lot of my friends which who gave the evening shift and they got a rank. Yeah. So that means uh, I always keep on saying that uh, obviously the students from both the shifts would have got the ranks. Uh, yes. Top ranks also, medium ranks also, low ranks also. So those students who have not got the desired ranks, so there may be some problem in the exam or something like that. So students should accept the rank what they have got and uh, do not generalize that only morning shift students have got the rank. No, sir, that's uh, we should not do that. Uh, I I believe that whichever shift you gave, whichever exam we give, we have to give 
our best in that exam it would always reflect on our results the hard work we do it always pays off so we should not complain or uh, like crib about these things we should always focus on our hard work and our exam that we give it our 100% एग्जैक्टली दैट्स दी पॉइंट वेरी वेल सेट के कर्म करो फल की चिंता मत करो सो यू डू योर बेस्ट एंड ऑब्वियसली यू विल गेट गुड रिजल्ट इफ एवरीथिंग गोज वेल सो डॉक्टर विधि वन लास्ट थिंग इफ स्टूडेंट इज सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड ही इज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वट आर दी मस्ट डू थिंग्स फॉर हिम वट आर दी मस्ट नॉट टू डू थिंग्स फॉर हिम ओके firstly i would like to tell the must not do things uh, what you should not do is don't wander off to different resources you would you would always get confused in the end whichever resource you use you use it to its 100% because everything is covered everywhere so whatever you use you use it to its 100% it will always give you the results so beat anything Uh, and what we should do is uh, i already said that you compile it in one place you make one one book or one note and you keep revising it keep revising it that is the only thing that will help in the end in the last one week of exam you should be able to revise everything in the last 7 days or one week so it will always be in your brain and in the exam you would you would be able to repro- re- reproduce it Great. Uh, let's note it again that uh, do not wander here and there, and uh, keep one resource, utilize it to the maximum, and plus also compile it so that you can revise at the end because revision is the key. Okay? Yes. So th- uh, thank you, Doctor Vidhi, for sparing your time, and uh, heartiest congratulations to you and your family from all of us from Cerebellum Academy. Thank and you so we much. We hope that whenever you come to Delhi, we will meet again. Yes, sir. Sure. thank you so much for sparing the time thank you sir okay bye 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 bye